Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this vice. Sarah lies about Brady who gets arrested Sarah's memory prompts Jada to arrest Brady and Johnny's jealousy infuriates channel. Today on Days of Our Lives, Sarah lies to protect Xander and Brady, Eric questions Xander's involvement, Stephanie dreams of Alex, and Chanel lashes out at Johnny. Please note that if you purchase something by clicking on a link within this story, we may receive a small commission of the sale. Alex comes to Stephanie's apartment to thank her for her hard work at the photo shoot. She invites him in to look at the proofs Eric sent over. They agree the pics turned out great, especially the sultry one of him and Chanel. Stephanie's not so sure Johnny will appreciate it, though. Alex points out they were acting and that Chanel hates his guts. Although they were getting along better at the shoot, he hopes that doesn't ruin their on-screen chemistry. In their Dimera mansion bedroom, Chanel shows Johnny the proofs Stephanie sent her. Johnny says she looks gorgeous in all of them, even this one. He weakly says about the one of her and Alex. Johnny admits he was a little thrown, but also impressed with her ability to appear as if they were getting along. Chanel says Alex agrees with them that the love scene is too soon. Johnny reveals that he asked Leo to rewrite it, but he refused. Chanel can't believe he went behind her back. Johnny reminds her he's the director, so he can confer with a head writer over anything he wants. She furiously states that she and Alex were going to talk to Kate, but they decided to wait. Johnny flippantly wonders if she changed her mind because she and Alex are suddenly getting along. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to have a love scene with her new co-star after all? He throws her past with Alex in her face, which further infuriates her. She angrily explains they decided to wait until tomorrow because it was so late but he can think whatever he wants because she already feels disrespected. In Brady's bedroom, Xander plans to put a gun in a passed out Brady's hand and pull the trigger. However, Jada's knock on the door stops him. He conceals the weapon as she enters. Jada says Sarah called and remembered that Brady was behind the wheel the night of the accident. She rouses a drowsy Brady, who swears he wasn't drinking. Jada places him under arrest for Sarah's hit and run. Xander seeds. At Stephanie's place, Alex says he's too amped up to sleep due to nerves over shooting scenes tomorrow. She invites him to stay and watch Ted with her. Later, as an episode ends, Alex discovers Stephanie has fallen asleep with her head on his shoulder. She dreams she's the one in the photo shoot with Alex, who wants to make mad, passionate love to her. He wants to ravish her like a peacock. Stephanie jolts awake with a horrified expression. Like a peacock. Embarrassed, she covers about what she was smiling and talking about while dreaming. An amused Alex teases her. In their bedroom, Johnny apologizes to Chanel. It just threw him when he saw her and Alex with their hands all over each other at the photo shoot. She fires back that she was doing the job that he recommended her for. That was a performance, but how pissed off she is, is real. She stomps to the bathroom and slams the door. As Sarah tells Fiona about her memory, Xander joins them in the bedroom. Fiona steps out, leaving Sarah to admit that she lied to Jada to stop Xander from killing Brady. He assumed as much. She couldn't just go to sleep knowing what Xander was planning. If she just remembered, then Brady wouldn't die, Xander wouldn't go to prison, and they'd get the justice Xander so desperately seeks. It's the only way she could save him and Brady both. Now, she has to live with the lie, but it's better than living without him. Tori spelling on DWTS elimination, and why now was the right time to join the show. This was my year TR video after getting tipped off about Brady. Eric comes to the station. He enters the interrogation room where Brady drinks coffee. Brady vows he didn't drink alcohol. He went straight home after seeing Eric, which is when he started to feel strange. However, he did run into a guy in the square who recognized him from AA. He recalls getting cut with his ring when they shook hands. When he got home, Tate had to help him to bed. The next thing he remembers is waking up to Jada who was talking to Xander. In bed, Johnny again apologizes to Chanel. He knows she'll kill it tomorrow when they film her first scenes. She rolls over and turns off the light. She has an early call tomorrow, so she'll see him on set.
they lie facing away from each other. As Alex prepares to leave Stephanie's place, she awkwardly confirms she'll be on set tomorrow. He says it will be nice to have her there for moral support. That's what friends are for, she says. Right? That's right, pal. Alex cheekily responds and strolls out the door. Stephanie closes it behind him and thoughtfully stares off. Fiona returns to Sarah and Xander's closed bedroom door. She listens from the hallway as Sarah says she hates lying about Brady, even if she is sure he's guilty. She knows she's not framing an innocent man. And now, Xander can stop with his one-man crusade for justice. All Xander wants is for the person who hurt her to get what they deserve. Fiona stares anxiously in the hallway. In the interrogation room, a confused Brady studies his hand. In the squad room, Jada confirms to Eric that Xander was in Brady's room when she got there. She steps away, leaving Eric to wonder why Xander was really there. Next on Days of Our Lives, Bonnie gets bad news and Alex turns to Stephanie for advice.